Hi everyone, welcome. As you can see, I've got some stuff lined up over here for the worms. It's just a mix of kitchen scraps. There's tomato, cucumber peel, a day's worth of coffee, and the coffee filter. Pumpkin. And the stuff over there is worm chow. The stuff over there is grit, pulverized eggshells. The lucky recipients of this delicious meal are the mixed red worms living in this tray here. So this tray is now 100. 89 days old 11 days from being 200 days old and these little guys have been fed 15 times and we're going to be giving them feeding number 16 today when we last checked in on these guys 12 days ago they were given a variety of stuff that would be kind of on the top of their favorites list they got cantaloupe melon they love any kind of melon especially if there's still some some you know yummy fruit left on the rind or or just the rind they like that too get a couple little worms greeting us out here I think there was some lettuce in addition to the cantaloupe which is also another one of those really easy to eat quick composting foods so I don't know what we're gonna see as far as leftovers today 12 days to get that stuff eaten up would be probably plenty of time I think besides that, yeah, we threw in we threw in a bunch of paper, like a few torn up coffee filters, and kind of like what you see down here, still covering the feeding area. Tore a few of these up to include down with the feeding. We could use this one too as supplementary bedding when we feed. Cause I got a do I have a new one? Yeah, we got the new one with the uh, coffee still in it. So we were feeding on this side with a feeding zone indicator was but the other other end of it was much more mature as far as um, being the material that they lived in when they still lived in a smaller container they were only upgraded to this larger bin a few weeks ago I think what was that yeah I thought I saw a couple worms connected there mating oops sorry guys so whatever they're gonna get disturbed one way or another they're smack in the middle of the worm bin and we want to come in here with our yummy foods and a little supplementary bedding too. They'll get that old coffee filter. We'll just give them some shredded paper cardboard leaf mixture. I'm curious to see how those bits of food they got last time are holding out. There's a lot of, I mean, it's been in here for a while now. <laughs> a lot of insect activity, all these little white insects running around all over the nice compost that's developing down in here. The coffee was sprinkled, the coffee was combined with worm chow and sprinkled out across the top of the paper bits. So if we see little pieces of coffee filter, well, that's what the food was on. So who knows, that might've just gotten eaten up along with the food. I don't really think I see many signs of it. And if we go down deeper, what the whole setup was placed on top of was a bunch of leaves put in a few feedings ago with some apple the apple and the leaves go back a few weeks now the last feeding it was just cantaloupe rinds that's what we're seeing some of the skin of right here huh. there's a worm on there and a bunch of the leaves so as far as bedding, yeah, besides the coffee filters, they didn't get a whole bot, a bunch of um, extra bedding because there was just so many leaves still. But I figured today we can come in with some of this prepared shredded paper and cardboard type bedding. And yeah, there's still a good number of these little white springtails, I assume is what they are. Well, that's just what I'm assuming they are. Well, whatever they are, they don't seem to be causing too big of a stir. The worms don't seem put off to be around them. I mean, I see leftover bedding and some rind. Okay, this looks like maybe food that goes back a little further at this point. So there's still some leftovers in here. But they're getting fed anyway. It's a good bit of moisture too. But that bedding that we're giving them has still a lot of potential to absorb moisture into itself. So I think putting that side by side with this old leafy bedding will be a nice mix for the worms to explore and at the same time I guess we'll be building the system's overall size out too by giving them a nice couple handfuls of 
bedding, which they'll gobble up anyway, so <laughs> that's a pretty nice foundation for today's feeding. So let's start dropping in their food. Pumpkin, I guess that's the only piece of pumpkin. Tomatoes, a few chunks of tomato. All these are bringing with them a good bit of moisture too as they thaw out because everything's you can hear it probably it's just um, all frozen but when certain stuff like these really water rich veggies and fruits start to thaw out they just start to really pour moisture down into the system which is awesome and i think the worms are going to appreciate that i guess we've still got all that cucumber peel all that coffee I just figured I'd sprinkle a little bit of that grit, mix it in with the foods. There's even some stems over here, tomato stem. That might take a little while, but we're in no hurry. Oh, we still got this coffee and the feeding zone indicator. So we'll get that in here as well. I'm just tempted to start seeing what we could do about maybe here. We're going to reuse this piece of paper as more kind of go hand in hand with the food you know have being right there with the food it's just going to go with the food and it's kind of what we want since it's been in here for a while it's already got the potential to go really quick some of this stuff with still some nice decomposing matter on it the worms are already working on nicely bringing that back in and don't forget about the nice portion of coffee. We'll do that with the worm chow. We'll give them a little worm chow too with the coffee. They should appreciate that. This will blend in a little bit. I think that'll help it along. And the moisture level I think somehow I think we're still going to be kind of on the, the damp side when we come back in here next time. And perhaps it's the dampness that's keeping those little bugs content to just hang out in here. I suppose if I were to let things dry in here, maybe we would see a reduction in insects, the little white insects. But they're, I don't know, they're definitely around, much more here than in any of my other systems. And hopefully it stays that way. If they're just contained to here and they're not jumping all over my other systems, then we'll manage them here i haven't really stepped up the game on trying to manage them or anything like that <laughs> they're just here and whatever let them stay okay so we got to reuse some of that old leafy material which is still holding out quite good there's a whole bunch of it in there but i think those couple handfuls of paper and cardboard shreds are probably going to uh be something that they're going to enjoy having too but all this old stuff is still pretty rich in leftovers. I mean, there's old chunks of food even mixed in here. This is very worked down banana stem. And I guess this piece of paper towel or newspaper, it looks like paper towel. Probably wouldn't hurt if we spread it out a bit. Shred it up a little. It might help it break down but other than that besides a couple big leftover chunks of paper I don't think we saw a whole lot as far as leftovers were concerned so this feeding was pretty timely those few chunks of cantaloupe rind those things are much tougher and will get worked down but the worms just can't make much use of it yet it's still too tough I think and as it breaks down gradually, it softens up, the worms will be able to make better use of it. So that's the kind of leftovers we would expect to see in a system like this after feeding the way we did last time. I think this is a, um, a good timely feeding. So we've given them some worm chow, some grit to go with their food, even some fresh bedding. I don't know, this thing was out here, this little spray. I, I, I've been just using this here and there. It's got water that may or may not even have any of that BTI bacteria in it, the mosquito dunks solution. So I put those mosquito dunks into the bucket that I've been sourcing my spray bottle water from probably a month and a half ago, and I don't think the stuff's rated to last that long. 
I think um, maybe a month, but whatever. Taking a chance that maybe there's still a little bit of this BTI in here to keep things slightly treated, even though my pump's not working too good. And I think we're good to go. Run nice replacement feeding zone indicator. And this thing might have still been pretty new, recently added, because it's hardly showing any signs of wear. Yeah, you know, we didn't till up the um, oldest of the material in here. I figured I'd just leave that be, because it looks like it's really in great shape, you know, just from looking at it from the top. And I'm sure it's similar down below, but we'll give the worms a little portion that we didn't disrupt this time, because <laughs> we're always so intrusive. I think what we've done here is plenty. We've definitely given them some nice new material to roam around and explore over there in the feeding zone. Although they might prefer some of the older, more aged bedding that they've received from previous feedings, but that stuff will eventually get nice too, such that the worms will want to explore it at their own pace. No hurry. They can go for it when they're good and ready. And that's it. That's now our 16th feeding of our mixed worm population. Another 11 days from now, we're hitting 200 days of age. And that might be a good interval to come back and see how they're doing with this feeding. Cucumber, tomato bits, pumpkin, I don't think they're going <laughs> to last. So that's it for today's video and our check-in with these worms. i got a few things i got to take care of putting away and cleaning up, but I'm not going to waste your time with that. That's boring. Before I go, though, really quick, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Let's get my clean hand dirty, too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.